Hi, thanks for joining me. This is April Winchester. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. And I'm going to make a pretty simple, quick card, but it's super cute and it's using um, the Hippest Hippos um, stamp set and coordinating dies. The stamp set is a free item when you spend $50 or more during July and August um, with Stampin' Up! So check my online store. The dies are also a free item with $50 or more. So um, for both of them, you'd have to spend $100 uh, before tax and shipping, but they are so worth it. They are so cute. I'm not really typically a quote cutesy critter um, person, but I, I did think this set was cute, but especially the dyes. Um, anyways, <clears throat> let's get started. Like I said, pretty simple. I've been feeling very simple lately. Um, in general, I'm simple anyways. I don't usually go um, crazy extravagant, even though I, I aspire to be like that sometimes. Um, I'm kind of an amateur. So, <laughs> but that's okay. All right, so I'm folding my card base of thick basic white. Um, all of the dimensions will be listed below. It's got my card base, I'm gonna set it aside. Um, and I'm gonna pull out all the pieces that I've already taken care of just to show you. Um, whoops. So I have a white stylish shape uh, in a circle. Um, I have a shaded spruce, sorry, a shaded spruce one in the same um, size. This is um, left over from a different one. That's why it's cut like that. And you'll see what we'll do with it. And then I also have um, three, I took three of the the, the three largest of the shaded, um, sorry, of the stylish shapes circles, probably not in the picture, sorry, um, and cut them out like this because I wanted a large ring and then the next largest ring and then the center, I'm just gonna save aside and use it for another project. So I have my rings. I then have this little piece in shaded spruce. I'm not really sure what it's supposed to be, but I'm going to use it as a plant base. And then I've got two polished pink flowers. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna set all these up here for now. As we go along, you'll see what we'll do with them. And then I have <clears throat> two pieces of DSP. Um, you can use whatever DSP you want. This comes from the um, oh boy, I totally forgot. Oh, celebrate everything host set. So if you host a party, um, you can buy this. So many good designs in there, a huge pack. And this comes from, I believe, Perfectly Penciled. Um, yes, Perfectly Penciled. And um, I would kind of, I picked these ones sort of randomly, but I also really liked the, the circles and the circles and then using the circles. So kind of wanted to stick with that theme. So I've got these. So I'm going to um, also quickly, I'm going to pull out my scrap piece of basic white and I'm going to stamp the hippo that is um, carrying the flower. I'm going to do this in memento black because I'm going to use my Stampin' Blends. And then we will uh, quickly color it in. Nothing fancy, just a quick color in. I'm going to use my Dark Smoky Slate. There's so many ways that you can color this. I've seen so many ways that people have done it. But I basically have just traced the outline in the dark um, smoky slate of the hippo. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. And I don't want to do, uh, I don't know what you call them, but I'm gonna say in the nails, like the toenails. Um, not. Anyway, so I'm just doing 
the outline, like I said, in the dark smoky sleet. And not the outline of um, the face or the snout area. I'm going to do part of the ears. And then I'm going to move to my light smoky sleet. <coughs> And I'm going to just um, blend out that dark one and try not to get um, too much into the ears because I want to put a little bit of pink there and not into the eye. I'm definitely going to, I'm going to color the snout in the light color, but not the flower. So I'm going to go around that flower. And hopefully this doesn't take too long because I didn't want this video to be very long. But I did want to show you how I do it because everyone does it differently. I am by no means a professional when it comes to coloring. Um, but I think it's good to see that people have different abilities and that you can still make um, something nice even if you don't think you have the best um, abilities. So I'm going to come down here now and really pull in... Um, that dark and try to blend it. It may not look blended yet, but don't worry. I'm gonna go back, doing a quick layer here. And what I have found is that sometimes um, blending out that line can take a little bit of time. So I go back and I blend it a little bit more. But while I'm doing that, I'm also putting a second layer of this smoky slate over the light smoky slate over the light that I already done. And that gives it a, makes it slightly darker, but not too dark. I didn't want to have it so dark, but it does give it another little layer of darkness. So it's kind of between light and dark smoky sleep. Now I want to color her or his, but I'm going to say her belly in the light smoky sleep. And um, and just go over the face a little bit more here. Oh, and now I'm gonna do the toes in the light, just real light and quick. All right, I'm gonna add some uh, light polished pink to the flower. To the nostrils into the insides of the ears where you can't see it well but it is there and i'm going to add granny apple green i think it's dark to the leaf and then i'm going to not die cut it because i already <laughs> did one and die cut it ahead of time um so here's my um hippo all right so now we can um, start putting our card together. Oh, well, actually, first, I I better stamp because if I don't stamp now and I try to do it later, I'll probably have a problem. So my hippo is gonna go on here, but I'm gonna take this um, shaded spruce piece that I said, like I said, it is the same size as this, and I want to make it shorter, but I kind of want to make it a little bit hilly. You can make your hills look however you want. You can make it straight across too. That is that is your choice. Nah, that wasn't very good, but it's all right. Most of it's gonna be covered anyways. So it'll look like this. My hippo will be kind of up here and I'm just kind of putting it all down for placement. I'll put my plant here. And I'll put this over here a little bit more because I'm going to put my sentiment right there. So using this stamp set, um, you can use any of them, although the spacing isn't the best. So you could um, stamp directly on the card base, but I'm going to use um, your So Hip. Um, here it is. Thought I had it all out and I didn't. Sorry about that. All right, so I'm gonna line this up on my little A block, little tiny A block. And using my Memento black, I will 
stamp. You're so hip. Now the great part about stamping it now and nothing's connected is if it was a little bit crooked or too crooked, I could adjust it and it wouldn't look so funny because nothing's connected already. Okay, super easy. Now I'm gonna glue this straight down and I'll use my Stampin' Seal. You could use liquid um, glue if you wanted. And before I push it down, I'm just kind of getting my, back to an idea of my placement. Okay, then I'm gonna put some um, dimensionals on my hippo and I have my mini ones out right now. You can use regular size, um, but my minis are already out. So I'm just going to use the minis. Besides I have a lot more minis than regular size. So we'll use them. Anyway, so we'll go ahead and take the backings off. The minis, I have to kind of use this, um, the take your pick tool because I always find um, that they're just too small to get with my nail. So I'm just gonna kind of place it here and I'm not gonna push it down yet. Um, I just wanna make sure I like what it looks like as I place these items on. So to do those, since they are pretty small, I am gonna pull out my liquid glue and I'm just going to put a little dab on there, a little dab will do ya. Little dab will do ya. And I'm gonna pull that down a little bit, put it a little high. I'm gonna take the big flower, not that it's big, but bigger flower, and I'm gonna put it on to, oh, I should have gone even lower, but that's okay. I'll just move my flower down a little bit lower so you can kind of see the word hip. Um, and then, I'm going to put a mini dimensional, I think, on the back of this, if I can get it to fit. There'll be a tight squeeze. I'm gonna cut it, actually. I'm just gonna cut that dimensional in half. And use half of it instead. I think it will fit better. Check the other side and you can see it a little bit, but it's going to be against the white, so it should be okay. Take the backing off, and then I'm going to put it next to this one. Now, set that aside for a minute. I'm going to pull in my card base. We're going to do a horizontal card. I have these two pieces of DSP. Like I said, the dimensions for them will be below, but you can pick whatever dimensions you want. Um, I'm going to flag the ends. So I'm gonna kind of try to go in the middle and then from corner to the place that I cut and then corner to the place that I cut. It took me a long time to learn how to do this, like somewhat eight and I'm still not the best but uh yeah so anyways there's one piece and then we'll do the same thing here And then we're just gonna put them on here. And this one's a little bit long, but I purposely did that because I didn't know where I wanted it to be. I want my big wide one to be in the back and my thinner one to be in the front. And that's about the placement that I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some stamp and seal on here. And so I will go ahead and put this onto my card. I'm gonna place this a little bit up more toward the top than the bottom. And then we'll put some seal on this one as well. And place it so it's kind of, I don't want the um, point of that to be 
um, lined up. I want it to be above. And actually, I want to fix this because it's not very straight. So I'm going to adjust it slightly by going like this. Sorry about that. There. I think that's just a little bit better. All right, and then, like I said, I don't want to have that line up with this. I want it to be above, so I'm gonna pull it up here. And I don't want it to line up with this. I want it to be a little bit back. So about there is good. Now I will trim off this side piece. These are my scissors that I use when I'm cutting like dimensionals or stuff that is um, glue and sticky. Then I use some good, nice, sharp snips to do cutting like that. And then I have a separate pair of snips that I use for um, like ribbon and thread. All right, so those pieces are down. The next part that I'm going to do um, are these black um, circles. I'm gonna put the bigger one up toward the top and all the way over. I'm gonna put the smaller one more toward the bottom. Um, but I don't want to cover this whole um, flag. So I can do like over this way or I could go this way so you can still kind of see that flag. And I'm not sure which one I want to do, so I'm going to put that there, and then I'm going to take my hippo and kind of decide where the placement of my hippo will be. And so I think I'm going to do it like this. I want this one to kind of stay there, so. <clears throat> take my liquid glue and just do a little I'm kind of shaky. I don't know why. Also, you're probably, I should have said at the beginning, you're probably hearing a weird um, humming or weird noise in the background. That's my AC. It is 80 plus degrees in my house. Um, so <laughs> I'm roasting. <clears throat> I decided I had to get that AC on. All right. Sorry. So hopefully it's not too annoying. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and place that down. I'm going to do the same thing to this one. place that down. And I'm going to actually, you see what I just did? I put that flag out there a little bit. don't have to, but that's just the way it worked out. Um, and then I'm going to pop this up on dimensionals because I can. <laughs> and I'm using my end edge pieces here because I need to use up this sheet. So I'm just taking the backing off. I'm not sure if you could see that. I was probably out of the screen. I have a hard time sometimes knowing where I should be. Um, all right, and then I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna push it down yet because I want to have an idea of where I want it. I wanna see that black flag a little bit, but I don't wanna cover up all of that circle either. So that'll be all right. I probably should have made this black flag a little bit longer. Now, I don't know if you can see it, but I can see it. So I'm going to take my um, adhesive remover and just get some of that extra adhesive off that's just kind of come out of the edges and then um two final things i'm going to put some of the small pearls on the flowers so one there oh let's go over a little bit that's a little and then one there and then the final thing I'm going to do is wink a Stella I'm gonna put that on the black rings you don't have to do this 
but I, I've done a couple of these cards already and I uh, liked it with the Wink of Stella on the, on the rings. So this um, will complete my card. Um, I, obviously you can put something on the inside, but I'm not sure <clears throat> what I'm gonna use this card for. I'm sorry, my throat. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna use this card for, so I don't want to put anything inside just yet. Um, might, might be a birthday card, might be a like, hey, how are ya? You know, uh, could, really could be just about anything, but. All right, almost done. Um, but like I said, um, the hippo set and dies is celebration. So um, take a peek at my online store. If you have any questions, go ahead and contact me. All of my contact information is in the description below. And um, as well as the dimensions and links to my blog and my store and everything else. So I hope that you enjoyed um, this card and that you like it and um, that you make it yourself and that you can do this in so many colors, so many different DSPs and this um, layout can actually be used like with so many different sets. It doesn't have to be the hippos. It's just what I decided to do. Now that I have a mess, <laughs> I'm gonna go clean up. Thanks for watching.